So here's the flowchart for the pseudocode we talked about in the previous video uh, for a more visual type of person that how the decisions actually flow. So I mean um, there's a diamond shape for uh, the decision process and if like if it's a if selection structure then um, the false part I mean there's a, s a set of instructions for the false and the true arrows here now if it's just a uh, if selection structure there is no false part so that's basically blank uh, and if it's true there is a set of instructions um, when you um, do something in the program like assign some uh, input to variables or you know do some math then like uh, the flowchart symbol is a rectangle and if you like do some sort of output then it's a parallelogram which you can see in the display sections right uh, and if you have like an if else selection structure then you'll obviously have some um, some instructions for the false part also which was left blank in in just the if selection structure so enough about pseudo codes let's talk about the actual codes for writing the selection structure um, so uh, in um, these uh, if uh, or if else uh, these st statements can contain variables constant properties arithmetic operators comparison operators logical operators all that fun stuff so I mean um, and uh, they basically have to um, evaluate to either true or false so so this is um, an example of the code. Uh, before going to the example, um, let's talk about the syntax. So, if uh, some condition is true, then do a set of statements, and then if it's not, um, then do the same statements in the L structure. Now, uh, so if when you write the code, you first write if, then you write your condition, and then you write then and then in the next line you write your set of uh, instructions to do uh, similarly uh, if you if you actually have an else then uh, you write a new line with else and then go to the next line and write a set, set of instructions if you don't have you just finish uh, your um, you finish the whole thing with an end if so it doesn't matter if it's an if else or a just if there always has to be an end if at the end uh, meaning that you know the decision process is done and I mean uh, in the examples you will see that they are very similar to the pseudocode we talked about not too much difference so and that's one of the good things of Visual Basic that uh, uh, even if you don't know the syntax um, it's most of the time very similar to the pseudocode which you if you actually spend the effort and time to write and that kind of helps